afternoon, Stitch Roadies. It's so nice to visit with you today here. It is a beautiful day in Portland. The trees are definitely starting to change. So although it kind of feels like a bit of summer left, the trees know falls right behind it. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I am still on baby watch, but I think it's going to be any time. Yeah, any time. As you will see later in the video, I um, took G to Acorns and Threads. He needed to do some birthday shopping. Yeah, he needed to do some birthday shopping. And so we headed over to Acorns and Threads. I didn't do as nice a video as I wanted to, and it's only because I finally realized I just wanted to shop for a moment. Just for a moment, you know. And so, um, it was fun. It was quiet. There were a couple people that came in after me. I know it'll get busier and busier. They had new things. I put myself on the list for something that is new but hasn't arrived yet. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I helped G do some more shopping. I did. I'll show it to you, even though... In the video, you'll see me aimlessly walking around trying to find it, but I'm going to show you afterwards. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, was it? I wanted to share you with you some stitchy kindness, though. I, uh, When we left Sisters, I stopped at the mailbox, and I picked my mail up. And I could feel some squishy packages. And so I brought them with me up here and I've opened them here. And this is like a blast from the past. A sweet note from Marsha. She sent me, she was organizing and cleaning out, and she sent me a November. 1999 issue of Stitcher's World and she sent it to me because it had a cross stitch that was based on Diana Phelan's um, artwork and she was one of the featured artists that was uh, displaying her wares, her artwork in Sisters at the time of the show. And so there is not only charts in here, but there are, is also an article, and I am so going to make this. This is going to be on my list. It's the chart, but it is this, this stitch. Combining my love of cross stitch and quilting. Isn't that beautiful? And so they did an article um, in this particular issue of the Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show. And you had better believe that I scrutinized with a magnifying glass, Marcia, every photograph to make sure I was in there somewhere. I just knew they must have captured a picture of me. <coughs> but alas, I didn't find one. Oh, there's so many beautiful... Look at this. Look at this. Uh, Christmas tree. Isn't that gorgeous? So thank you. Thank you, Marsha. I absolutely love this walk down memory lane and the potential for a new cross-stitch project. Yeah. If, I mean, you really... You, I mean, this. look at this old photograph. Now, you know this is an old photograph of the show because there's cars still driving down the middle of town. And now that highway during the show is completely closed and people are walking down the middle of that highway. Yeah. It's, it's a treasure. It's a treasure. And then I was surprised I got this sweet, sweet package from my friend Megan up in Alaska. I cannot believe it. She and I shared a table along with several other stitchy friends at the fall fling last year and so she sent a beautiful sweet card thank you thank you megan 
Look at this. I am always amazed when people can make their cards. It's got all the fun stuff in it. And like her, I can't wait till we can actually stitch together. Yeah, I can't wait. And I actually, when I was at Acorns and Threads today, I said I told uh, Janine about this little package I got, and that um, it was from our friend Megan. But look at this. This is Santa's Blend. This is ground coffee from the North Pole. <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And then raw Alaskan fireweed honey. Gonna taste really good in my tea. Yeah. But look at this. This little cross stitch charm. Isn't that adorable? Has a little hook there. I was thinking about hooking it on a project bag, but I think I'm going to hook it on a pair of scissors. I just think it's so cute. In fact, let's see, I don't know if it'll fit these ones. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I shall never lose these scissors now with the little acorn. <laughs> I was just at Acorns and Threads. Yes, oh, this is so cute. Now I'm always going to be able to find out where those scissors are tucked. Thank you so much, Megan. I miss you. I miss you. So what have I been doing while on Baby Watch? Well, when my grandson was here, I was doing nothing but Nana duty. <laughs> G and I were doing Nana duty. I wish you could see my window. We put up all these Halloween decals. Yeah. We have bats flying across the window and pumpkins along the bottom. Boy, it's such a beautiful day. Such a beautiful day. I've been powering through this particular project because, you know, this has to be done. Um, in the next week, this has to be done. So I have time to fully finish it. And then that'll be another finish. Holy moly! And I am... This is the project that I have on my um, Q-Snap. And so this is what I've done the last couple days, is this ship area here. And coming around the corner, getting ready to get done. A beautiful chart. It is a Stony Creek Harvest Blessing. So I've been putting the pedal to the metal for that. I love silhouette patterns. I, I don't know what it is about them, but I really do enjoy them. And uh, this is all done in the in that type of um, artwork, the silhouette artwork. I had some old stitching ones that I loved too. I wish I could find all of them. I'm sure I gave them away because uh, there was one that I hadn't done and I would have liked to have gotten that one and, and added it to my collection. But, you know, it's the way it goes, huh? So how's your October going? Can you believe it's October? I can't even believe it's October. Um, when I told my grandson yesterday that Halloween is this month, he was arguing with me that it's not Halloween. I said, no, but it's Halloween month. And because um, he was wondering why we were putting the bats on the window and the jack-o'-lanterns along the bottom of the window. Let's see, there's one, two people on that streetcar. Yeah, downtown still hasn't opened up a whole lot. The college students are back though, and um, and someone, you know, they have those um, 
over on our corner here on both sides they have those scooters those electric scooters um, and they uh, they're always gone somebody's using them to get around downtown but there's not a whole lot of businesses open yet and that has to do with covid um, we still haven't got the wide open yet and and so there's some limitations for that yeah but all we can do is keep stitching right well stay tuned now because you're going to see a little bit of my walk through through acorns and threads which is where I first stopped for my first in-person birthday shopping for the month. Stay tuned. So I brought G over to do some birthday shopping because you know where we gotta go for birthday shopping. Yep, that's what we're talking about. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've come birthday shopping. Oh, yay. <laughs> birthday! Yay! Because I'm spending my birthday here. Excellent. <laughs> I love that. Spending your birthday with you. Yeah. And see, G is here with me too. So oh, he brought nice. me. Yeah, he brought me. Because oh. <laughs> I have to pick something out because it's my birthday all month. Yes, I believe that. And look at all this cute stuff. Oh my gosh. How's mom? She's good. Four. Magazine and everything. Oh, well, this is from the Willing Hands book. You know, the thing about it is making choices is a really difficult Look at all of this finishing stuff. This is new. Oh my gosh. I've got to get that color. That's kind of like, is that like uniform blue floss? Look at the little pom-poms. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Yeah. Oh boy. Did I hear she's new to this? Yeah. Oh, welcome to the insanity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Which is hat? Oh. Isn't that the sweetest? Stony Creek. Reminds me of Audrey's Audrey's um, Stony Creek Afghan. Let's see. Stitching Housewives. Oh, this is that um, uh, Priscilla. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them here. Okay. You need um, beads for your chatelaines? Isn't that the ones that use beads? Oh, look at this little box. How cute is that? Did you get the fox one here? Did that come in? It's coming. Okay, I need to be put down for that one. Thank you That's not allowed in here. Balancing a checkbook. <laughs> oh, now this reminds me I have to get that done. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Look at this flamingo bells.
Oh, and look at they have they have diligent. We're, this is my birthday start. Oh, look at all this lovely, lovely fabric. Yeah, I need to do that one. All of the blackbird in one shelf. Oh, oh and there's Henry. Oh, they are so cute. Oh, Barbara Anna. Those designs are so cute. I don't know this. Madame Lafie. Oh. Gingerbread Hollow. But I like the chenille needles because they do have that bigger eye. So you could, if that doesn't, Look at how tiny that stitching is on these Barbara Anna designs. Ooh, this color is so sweet. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a film break because I need to shop a little bit more. As always, such a hard decision to make because there's so much to love. Birthday shopping is done. I'll show you when I get home what I what chart I decided on. Oh. See you guys at home. Well, did you enjoy the walkabout? You know, I I knew I only had a limited amount of time and that made the shopping even worse because it's like you want a good three hours of walkabout. But G was out in the car. He was waiting to go hiking. <coughs> and I didn't want to keep him just sitting there waiting on me. I wanted to read every single chart in there. There were so many new things that I hadn't seen before. I put myself on the list for a couple of charts that weren't available. One is brand new and coming out, and the other one had sold out. Who is buying all these cross-stitch charts? Huh. But I will show you what I picked up today. First of all, I picked up two packs of needles. Oh yeah, I'm practical. I am so practical. Because when I arrived here, I realized I only had the needle that was in each project bag, one needle. And if I lost it, we'd be needle swapping. I'm not sure needle swapping is an approved activity. 
I don't know about that, but I decided I was going to have two packs of needles, 28 and 26, and I was going to keep them here in my little sewing kit here. So now, if I, you know, lose a needle, I got one here. They had, did you see that whole wall of Lady Dot Creates finishing trim? That was new. That, uh, at least I didn't see it before. And so I bought this, oh, I just have to take it out of the package and show you because it is, I don't know how she does this. She must dye it a certain way, but let's see. Let's see what I can do. I'll do it on this piece here. It's like a blue. It's like a little blue pom-pom. It's that kind of uniform blue color that we can never find in floss. So I decided I needed to have that. In my potential finishing, fully finishing kit. It's called Rainy. Oh, okay. It's called Rainy. So I have that. And then I bought this pattern. I I'm I don't think I have this pattern. <laughs> I don't think I do, but I sure do like it. And it's a Brenda Gervais. Yeah. Oh man. Since my birthday start is huge, I thought it would be nice to have G also get me a small one. Yeah. I love the way the house, the building, is inside of the O. And it called for 35 count espresso R&R &R reproduction, but they didn't have any. So I bought, I bought a um, light mocha 36 count. So it'll be a hair smaller than what it's called for. And then some of the flosses were not available, so they're on order for me because I don't know if I have them at home or not. But the flosses that were available I picked up and I really like the way those colors are against that fabric. Yeah, that's really going to show up well. So that was my big birthday purchase for um, my trip, my first, <laughs> my first October trip to Acorns and Thread. Because you know that ain't going to be the last one for sure. And did I show you this? I just think this is so adorable. It's like a little plastic sewing kit, and you um, you have some stitching to do on it, and you get the little plastic heart and the fabric. Uh, let's see what's in there. And these kits were available at Acorns and Threads. Oh, it's just so... So cute. So there's the instructions. What even came with the little pin? The fabric. Oh, and all the little gigas. Oh, the floss. So the fabric. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the fabric in there, the linen, the cross-stitch linen. So it not only has the finishing uh, linen, it has the cross-stitch linen and the floss and all the little gigas that go with it. How cute is that? And the instructions. It's so cute. So cute.
for someone special. Okay, so that's it. That was today. Um, I am hoping that uh, I get this uh, harvest blessing done this week. I'm going to push it pedal to the metal. Of course, that could all get inter interrupted by our new grandson. and But that's okay. Babies come first. Babies come first. I hope that you are having a wonderful day, that the weather has settled down wherever you are. My sister's still stuck in smoke. Um, but uh, my nephew was able to get back to his house, and it was doing fine. And... Today is a beautiful day. Can't ask for much more, can we? You take care, be safe, and keep stitching.